So we are going to design the oil control ring in the solid world. So let's first study the drawing. So this is the basic drawing. Uh, we have the diameter, the total diameter of this design, the oil, oil control ring. And here you can see we have these uh, some uh, section cut, cut and a detail cut. So for this one, for the C, C, we can see here the details of this cut. So basically this, this, this sketch, this sketch is revolving around an axis. So we are going to make this simple sketch and we are going to revolve it and we are going to use the thin feature option for the mid plane. So all the details are given. The design is very simple. So let's go and try to design it in the SOLIDWORKS. So the units are in inches. Make sure the selected units are in inches. Then go to the sketch tab and open the sketch and we have to select a plane. So for this drawing, it does not matter which plane you, you are going to select. So for me, I am going to select the front plane. Okay, select the front plane and go here on the line and first line, we are going to draw the center line and draw center line. Okay, we don't need it to dimension the center line, then just draw the line tool and select the line tool and we are going to make this sketch like that. So we can we can draw this sketch using different method, but uh, I am going to explain a simple method and it is uh, more efficient. So for this first point, uh, drag this origin and draw a line like that a horizontal line okay draw a line like that now when you uh, left click the second point the line tool will be activated now at this point basically we needed a uh, arc a small circle here at this position so we draw this line and now we needed to draw a circle like that we can achieve that by drawing a circle like that and then adding a tangent relation here and then draw a circle a line here and add a tangent relation between them and then then we are going to trim this one but the other way is that uh, when we are in the line tool we draw a line and the for the second line the line tool is activated now just move your cursor back to this end point now it will activate this circle command this arc command okay so activate this and place the arc like that then when you put this the uh, the line tool will be activated again then draw an other line like that and now when you move your cursor you are still in the line now we want to again go to the arc tool so again move back to this endpoint like that and it will be converted to a to a arc sometime it must be like that or uh, sometime it become where like that so if this happen just just go here again go here to the end point and draw this this line this point like that and then again in the line tool draw a line like that and just keep tracking these points I to track this point and again move back to this end point and make this uh, tool into a arc tool and just auto to track this point so you just draw a half circle so just track this point this point like that and then place a line like that and now we need to finish this line so just uh, track this point uh, you see a dotted line so basically it's tracking this point like that okay now we need to uh, define the dimensions so you can see the dimension here for this drawing it's very simple okay so from this point to this line we are going to place a full uh, dimension so first select this point this one and then select this reference line and move your mouse uh, other side of this uh, this reference line and place the dimension here so it will draw a full dimension and it's 2.775 and place it now we also have a tolerance here so we can add that let me first make it to go to document properties units and make it decimal 3 okay now i'm going to edit this sketch okay so now select this select this dimension when you place this dimension this property box of the dimension is open so this property box will be open and here under the tolerances and precision expand this and here select the 
symmetric yes and place 0 0.003 so this will be here okay let's just go and find the other dimension and place the dimension and the relation so we already automatically have some relation so zoom so you have the good view and select dimension we already have some relation like you can see this line and this uh, arc have a tangent relation so for this line we have the dimension of 0.1 place this dimension and then select this dimension the dimension of uh, this arc the radius select it and place this dimension it's 0 0.01 like that so it's very small zoom okay now we needed to add the relation you can add the relation by pressing the control select this arc this arc and zoom to see this arc and select this arc these three arc zoom out and add a relation between them and equal relation so this sketch will be become very small okay next we needed to define the relation so for this line and this line we want them have a relation of equal so make sure you selected these two line the uh, upper line and the uh, bottom line add an equal relation between them okay for the next dimension here we we have this dimension okay so select the smart dimension tool and for for this line not for this line this dimension is from this point to this point so we have to drag this point zoom and just drag this center point and left click to control it and drag it at this place so smart dimension tool this point and this point and place a dimension here 0 0.060 okay and so we we actually added this line and next we have to see if there is any other dimension which is defined so from this side to this side distances distances also this one so now we needed to define the these two lines make them equal okay so select this line press ctrl select this line and add a relation equal so now this sketch is fully defined we didn't we don't need it to define any other dimension okay so exit this sketch and now we needed to use the revolve so when we select the revolve the sketch plane on which to sketch the feature cross section or an existing sketch so select this sketch and it's ask this window this sketch is currently open a non-thin revolution feature requires a closed sketch would you like to sketch to be automatically closed no we select no and here the thin feature will be activated and we have to define for the direction mid plane and uh, define its dimension so 0 0.010 so this will be the sketch like that you can see and check mark so now this is the oil control seal so the only thing which is left is this 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 hole so we have the dimension here and from the vertical uh, it has the angle of 10 okay so we selected the front plane and draw this sketch here uh, you can also select the right plane and draw it okay open this sketch and we are going to select this surface and make it normal to you and here i am going to draw center line like that and then circle tool and just see so this circle is touching this edge this edge so make sure you draw the center of this circle on this edge okay and now define the position dimension so not like that again we have to draw center line so this center line starting from this point this region and the center of the circle and now we can define the angle for these two so 10 degree okay and what is the radius of this select this and it has the radius of uh, sorry the diameter is given 0 0.5 okay and now feature extrude cut and use through wall and check mark so now we have this tiny cut now select this extrude cut one its name here we can also change it 
by double clicking on it and we can change the name yeah one click and then another click it will and so now you can uh, rename it okay select this one and we need it to use the circular pattern and here for the for the direction one i am going to select a circular edge like that and for the quantities number of instances we need a 20 yeah and check mark now we just draw this uh, ring so basically it's very simple some few steps and we achieve this design so everything is defined here the drawing is very simple and we can also define this material so go to the material and guys if you did not subscribe my channel please subscribe it and we have this material 1045 this steel apply and this design is complete thank you so much for watching this tutorial and please subscribe my channel thank you so much